Hello, hello, this is Elissa from Mink Arts and Crafts. Today I have another small shop haul for you all. And as you can see, it's another good sized one. So a couple of these packages I've had sitting, waiting for a few weeks now, as I wait to uh, kind of get together a few different packages to come in to record uh, the small shop haul for today. So as you can see, these two have been sitting, uh, um, these two boxes have been sitting and waiting for me for a couple weeks now. Uh, so uh, now I was finally got these three in today and now I'm gonna go ahead and do my uh, small shop haul for all, small shop haul for you guys. So today I will be unboxing this one from Bella Art Day Nicole. Then I've got a package from Stacy Travis, also known as Lady Lathe Customs by Design. Then I've got a one from Whimsical Daisies, which I ordered quite a while ago uh, off of Etsy. And then Carrie Costello or Leopard Leatherwork. And then Merry Making and More, which is one of my weaknesses, as you guys have probably noticed from some of my other unboxings. Uh, and as you've probably noticed from my other unboxings, we will start from the left and work our way down through. Uh, so anybody who's new to my channel, uh, this is one of my favorite things to do when I get my uh, new crafting supplies and diamond painting accessories in. I like to unbox them for you guys so you can see my new um, things that I've got in. Uh, over the weeks and I unbox them and record the video so you can see what's out there for everybody to kind of get an idea uh, of what's available if there's anything somebody's interested in. As you can see, my, my Palm Pilot that I wrote on. Anyone remember Palm Pilots back in the day? Anyone have a Palm Pilot back in the day that we used to take notes on? It was a precursor to a Blackberry, which then dates myself because blackberries were like the precursor to like the iPhone and everything else sorry uh, so we used to call like writing on your hand we used to be the palm pilot for people that didn't want to actually you know buy a palm pilot so that was me taking notes on my hand at work today uh, because I didn't have a sticky note available so I just wrote on my hand anyways we're gonna get started and I want to say a thank you and a huge shout out to all of my new subscribers uh, and welcome if you and if you have not yet subscribed to the channel go ahead and subscribe and if you're not already clicked the like go ahead and click that like button right down there so this box right here uh, from Bella Arte Nicole is from their uh, their three-year anniversary 30 however many thousand sales that they did a couple weeks ago so it's been a hot minute since uh, I ordered this and it just came in so I'm gonna pull everything out of the box because the box is fairly big and then move the box out of the way so Mochi when she comes in here can go jump in the box because you know how Mochi is she's like she likes her boxes so I'm gonna move this out of the way and put it on the floor so we can have her room and if you hear snores it's because my my pug is going to be underneath the um she's literally laying on her bed right underneath the edge of this desk right here uh, Mochi just discovered the box, which I put on the floor, so she's going to be jumping in the box. So you'll hear rustling from the cat jumping in the box, which she's just about to do because she's obsessed with boxes. She's a cat. That's what she does. Uh, let me grab my scissors. I forgot. You guys will notice a trend when I get boxes large enough for the cat. The cat jumps. Yep. You just heard her. She jumped in the box. So, uh, Bella Art and Nicole, um, as the cat rustles in the box, uh, they worked with, um, so Mary from uh, Mary Making and More had requested to see, hey, can you make something that will fit Mary Mud? And Nicole and Jamie were like, you know, we need to come up with something that would do that. So they came up with um, these, um, these right here. I'd have to look back on the website and see exactly what they're called, but they're under their accessories. And boom. I got two of them because I was like, I wanted to make sure I had them, but they've got adjustable. Um, so they're these 
trays and you can adjust and slide the slots which i didn't read the i didn't read to see that you could do that and i the fact that i can do that makes me even happier so i got this color here which is one of my favorite colors this like aqua tealish color i don't know what color you call that like that but this color blue and it's wide enough that you can fit the bags without the bags being like squished and once i unbox some of as you guessed you can probably assume there's going to be putties in here as I unbox my putties over here. I will show you how well they fit in these. The cat just startled herself, as you could hear. Um, cats, they do weird things. When I unbox the putties, I'll kind of set them in here so you can see how well they fit. And look, it's got the Bella uh, butterfly in the front. Uh, so there is item number one. And I couldn't decide which color I wanted, so I was like, well, why don't I get both? Uh, and then I can have some organized storage, and then I can potentially store some other stuff as well. Um, I've also seen uh, Nicole from Bella Art Day Nicole, I've also seen her kit up. Um, like, she, I've actually seen her, see, there's this beautiful green. So I love this, like, lime green as well as this teal aqua color um but I've seen her actually kit up um let me go ahead and I'm gonna zoom that in a little bit so you guys can get that word. um but kit up paintings in plastic baggies so if you wanted to do like kit up the paintings in the plastic baggies and put them in the trays like this you could I wonder if they would sell like extra ones of these where if you did that you could have like extra these that might be something to reach out and say hey can can you make like extra slots or little these just in case that'd be an option but there are those and then I love the uh, small trays so I got the I find where the ah, on the side here. I love how well they package these things. They do an excellent job packaging. Uh, so I have a mailman or lady or mail person. I don't know which it is. Uh, I, sh I don't do a very good job of cutting these things open. Uh, who has a tendency to overstuff my mailbox? Um, so there's some days where I'll come. I'll open my mailbox and I'll be like really you couldn't just take and like walk from my mailbox up to my door with whatever it was that you had you had to try to shove that into my mailbox like the time it took you to shove that into my mailbox was probably longer than it would have taken you to walk to my door with whatever article you just shoved into my mailbox like and I'm, I'm dead serious. Like I've come in, I've had times where they will literally um, shove the things so far into the mailbox. And then the card, which ah, of course the, ah, there's there, the bottom and the top the butterfly and the business card. And this is for the trays which these are my favorite trays are this size so they fit right in there a perfect fit and then you can slide them out i do not have this many trays but i figured get that and if over time i purchase more i think i've got nine trays Six, seven, eight so this has slots for eight but that gives me options so over time if i the dog change positions. If I get more, I can put them in, change them around, set them up. But these are the size tray that I like the best. I do have some larger ones, but I prefer these small ones because they fit in my hand really well. But there are the tray holders. And then I also, I decided I wanted something to be able to hold my, uh, my pens because right now I don't really have a good storage solution for all of my pens. So this was like my accessory haul from Bella Art de Nicole with their 30 uh, per they because they were doing like a 30% off sale, which is why I bought so many things. 
Uh, so I got, ooh, it's like a static cling uh, ear pillow. The pen holder. So it's got a slots to put all the pens in with the tray. There's the logo. And look, Mink Arts and Crafts. I had them put my name on it. So there is my channel name, Mink Arts and Crafts. And look at this color. It's such a beautiful color. That is gorgeous. Boom. So that way I can have some pens to sit right on there. And it's got my channel name. I thought that was beautiful. I like that logo right there. But boom. So that was my Bella haul. Right there. For the, their sale that they were doing. But I figured since they're having a sale, that's the perfect time to purchase all of the accessories that I have, the, the holders type accessories from them. Next, we have Stacy Travis with Lady Lathe Customs by Design. So from her, I got a pen. And here's her goodie bag. Cute with happy thoughts. Boom. Old cans of bag. Here's her thank you for your order and supporter, supporting my small business. Here's her card for Lady Lathe Customs by Design. And this is what she does handwriting. Handcrafted writing pens, kitchenware, coffee scoops, keychains, craft items, and more. And I love that she includes like a tea because uh, I'm not a coffee drinker, but I love my teas. So, ooh, and it's a lemon ginger. Anyone who has not, does not drink lemon ginger tea, lemon ginger teas are like the bomb. I love me some lemon ginger tea. So that is amazing. Happy thoughts. Oh, that is adorable. So a little seashell and I love this. Ooh, look at that little flare of orange coming in there with the E. You like set those up. Love my, and I look at the colors on those. Then she's got the little cross. And the cut out for the penny. So that's just cute there. So I love the fact that these small shops like this will put so much thought into their, uh, like personalizing their shop like this. And so much thought into it. I think that's fantastic. And that's not even getting into the pen. Ooh, pardon me. It's a little sneeze coming up. And then like, look at that. I'm like, how do I get into this? It's packaged so well. It's Alyssa proof. This is what I'm going to like cut myself. My mom would be like, what are you doing? You're going to hurt yourself. She's used to me like cutting myself so many times growing up. Uh, it was very accident prone as a child. My nickname growing up was Grace because of how not graceful I was. Of course, you've got the thank you for supporting my small business. So I love supporting small like this because uh, it's just so much better supporting small as you watch me mangle this. Rip and tear, rip and tear. And boom paper didn't want to leave. Look at that. Boom. Look at all those colors. Oh my goodness. That is gorgeous. Like the layers of paint or resin or I guess, I guess it's resin. But look at the colors of the layers of the resin in there. That's gorgeous. It's like layer after layer. Wow. It's beautiful. And the colors on that. I like that a lot. And then I like the accent of the um, the little like rhinestone-y accents of these beads in here in the center. I like that little accent there. So this was the pen that I um, went for for her. So she has a way on her uh, website, or not website, on her 
Facebook page where you can do like you put your number in if you want a pen you that she's turned you put in the number uh, like you can put in like your number of 10 people wanted that pen and then she'll do like spin in whatever number it falls on one through ten that's who then uh, can purchase that pen uh, so that's what she does a lot of times for her pens um, so that's a common way for uh, a lot of for uh, her pens but that is a beautiful pen so that is Lady Lathe Customs beautiful beautiful pen and as we come over here to Whimsical Daisies so these here's the thank you for supporting my small business thank you for your purchase Whimsical Daisies I'm gonna bring that one down a little bit so you can see it make sure there's <laughs> that is funny wake up and be effing awesome that is great oh hilarious so I figured I would try a few different types of um, different scents of putty or mud or whatever she calls it so here's the stickers you've got that one <laughs> you've got a possum hanging you've got the fox we're gonna make it through okay you've got a poison jar extremely dangerous pond scum oh that's great and poison hemlock so that collection of stickers those are great and then the different flavors so I went with uh, something lemon drops I can't quite read that I'd have to go back because I ordered these probably about six or eight weeks ago and they just came in mild scent I guess I'm so used to I think this is like a wax um, and then this one is Unicorn Dreams. Doesn't have a super strong scent. I guess I'm so used to the Merry Mud scents that these are really mild. And then a Warm Apple Cinnamon. That one does smell like cinnamon. But this one with the Unicorn Dreams. I don't know. I don't know what that smells like. doesn't hmm I don't feel like that smells like much like lemon maybe like a cleaning lemon scent but I'll give them a try and see what I think of them now on to my last two this one is from Carrie Costello and she is leopard leather works or leopard leather work and from this one, oh, that is cute. A little princess fairy. It looks like a little fairy. So, like, a, oh, she reminds me of uh, Princess Leia in, like, fairy form. That's what this reminds me of, this little cover binder. That is adorable. I'm going to slide my Mary Mud out to the side. And here is her business card. Doop. There is her business card the moment I put my scissors down is the moment I need my scissors I need to just stop doing that because without fail that's what happens I'm like oh I don't need these anymore and I put them to the side and boom I need my scissors without fail without fail so this particular pen is one that she'll post like a couple of different she'll post like four four to eight blanks and then you put like the number of the number of the blank that you want uh up and what's interesting about hers which you'll see is she does a matte finish instead of like the shiny glossy finish but look at that gorgeous matte finish i've never seen a matte finish on a pen before but it is like the glossy, like the smoothest. It's not glossy because you'd have the shine, 
but it is the smoothest matte finish I have ever felt. And her pens follow, and they're still like, you know, the double-sided. And it's a little bit, it's not super, super fat or anything, but her pens follow a, um, a theme of a specific painting. So she'll, she'll post uh, like four to eight blanks that are all like the same relative, like they're all cut from the same block uh, and there'll be the four, four to eight blanks. And then you claim, like you'll put the number, it'll be like, I want one or I want blank number three. And then she'll uh, turn those blanks. Uh, she'll turn that blank for you then. Uh, you pay for it and then she'll turn it and all of that. Uh, and they correspond to a specific, typically to a specific painting. So this one is uh, one that Diamond Art Club corresponds with one that Diamond Art Club put out a few weeks ago, uh, maybe a month or two, a couple months ago. Ah, my time runs together. But this one, I think it's called the Snow Fairy Queen. Uh, I can't remember off the top of my head. I'll I'll put up a photo of it so you can see the one that it corresponds with. And she knocked the colors uh, really well. Um, but it is beautiful and look at those colors gorgeous gorgeous I love that like it's got a really interesting feel to it like I like that it's so smooth and it's like with something being matte like this you don't really expect it to be as glossy and smooth as it is but that is a really nice pen so this is Carrie Costello with Leopard Leatherworks and there is that one so that is number three or well number four and now Da, 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 da. my Mary Mud. So I bet you're all waiting for my Mary Mud haul. Um, as you all probably know, I love me some Mary Mud. I tend to be obsessed with my Mary Mud. So here's my little goodie bag with my candy and my stickers. So I haven't had dinner yet, so I will definitely be having me a piece of candy after I eat my dinner. Some glow-in-the-dark drills, squares this time. It kind of alternates and varies. Sometimes you get squares, sometimes you get rounds. <laughs> oh, look at the bunny. Like the bunny. And then this is perfect. Look at this colorful flower basket. <laughs> the frog, he's cute. Adorable little frog. And there is that. And then you've got the little baggie that it comes in. I'm gonna set that off to the side. All right, there are so many goodies in here, you guys. Um, so I bought my mud and then I was like, oh darn, I wanted to get some cover minders, but I wanted to make sure I got the muds and especially a couple of the scents that are in here. And then I kind of went crazy on the cover minders y'all. Uh, so I'm on like a cover minder no buy for like the next however many months. And you'll see why considering that this little box is full of cover minders. So I'm going to take everything out of the box and put the box down. Um, and I will show you all what I got. Uh, Cause like I said, I went a little crazy on the cover minders and I'm on a cover minder don't buy. Putty doesn't count because you can always have more putties. So first off, I mean, I couldn't not get this adorable little kitty in a box. I mean, I have a cat in a box, so I had to have a like cover minder cat in a box. And for anyone who doesn't know, a cover minder is used, it's got the two magnets, magnet on the bottom and a magnet right here. And a cover minder is used to hold the plastic covering your canvas out of the way. So you put one magnet underneath the canvas and then the other magnet, or the other piece, this one on top of the canvas, and then they sandwich it together so it holds that piece of plastic out of the way. And that way you can work and you don't have to completely remove the plastic. So this completely 100% adorable cat in a box because I have a resident cat in the box myself who she startled herself and then ran away. So she's not in here right now, but that is my cat in the box cover minder. And then of course I knew that June was coming up. So in honor of June being pride month, I had to pick up this rainbow cloud glitter that shakes 
I mean, like, look at the glitter that inside this rainbow cover minder moves. And she uses, like, really good magnets. I love the magnets that she does. I mean, look at all of this glitter in the back of this cover minder. So it's, like, beautiful on the front. But even if you look at it on the back, it's beautiful as well. So the rainbow cover minder. And let's see, that one goes with... Uh, one of the putties. <laughs> Sorry for the noisy. Uh, there's this one motorcycle that lives right around me that likes to zoom up and down the road and uh, just drives me bonkers. And then I got this super pretty like resin star cover minder in like these these really pretty like pink, purple, blue. I thought that was a pretty one. Similar to that, the same colors, like this pretty unicorn cover minder. Again, I was like, I need to have my, uh, like my cover minder purchasing privileges taken away from me because I bought way too many. And then this pretty sparkly purple uh, unicorn cover minder. Because really, you can't have too many unicorns. Uh, I mean, they're just too cute. You gotta have them all. That one I think goes with another uh, putty. So when I pull out the putties, we'll have to take a look at it. For all of you that don't like crinkles, I apologize for the crinkles, but you gotta deal with the crinkles. It is what it is. And then she got these little adorable things in. I mean, look at the little googly eyed turtle. And, um, my one of my other things that I collect is military challenge coins and I have a massive collection of turtle challenge coins in my office at work so for anyone that doesn't know I am in the Navy and I have a turtle challenge coin uh, like holder um, and that's mounted on my wall that's like a Hawaiian themed uh, turtle challenge uh, coin holder can't think of what the proper term for it is right now because words fail me sometimes and I love my turtles so I had to get the googly-eyed turtle and then because I got the googly-eyed turtle I had to get the googly-eyed fish as well because I mean that's just too cute because they kind of go together so I had to get both of those so those were those two cover minders that one goes with one of the others and then I got some of the putty uh, and cover minder sets so that's why I'm not showing you guys some of those ones all right, so that one goes down there. And then of course, because June is Pride Month, I got the um, Pride themed four leaf clover because that one was just pretty. So there's that one. And then Team Toe Beans because, you know, Toe Beans. Because my fur babies are my babies. So Team Toe Beans, that's how to get that one. Again, like I said, I went a little uh, crazy on the cover minder. Uh, theme. And then I was just looking through them and some of the older cover minders that she hadn't even restocked. And look at this adorable little kitty. Isn't she adorable? Look at that happy cat. It's like a, you know, it, she almost, it looks like a little unicorn cat. Yeah. Like, look at that little happy cat. And then this little unicorn, because again, you can't have too many fun unicorns. So that will join my unicorn collection, which I think I've got like uh, probably four or five other unicorn cover minders that I've purchased from Mary already as well. So like I said, uh, you can never have too many unicorn cover minders. Now we will break into the best part, the putties. Da -da -da -da. So one of the things I have to purchase every time she comes out with a new scent from her Zodiac series. So this is Scorpio. And to go along with Scorpio, I had to get, if I'm getting Scorpio, I have to get the matching Scorpio cover minder because it's a series. And I did that with the first release of the first two Zodiac uh, muds. So since I did it with the first two, I have to do it for the rest of the series because uh, I'm a completionist. And my mom always laughs when I say that. But once I've started a set of something, I kind of have to finish it, uh, which doesn't bode well for like my pocketbook. 
I am, I'm not gonna open all of these for you guys, but I am gonna open the Zodiacs because the Zodiacs are just so amazingly spectacular. So Scorpio, look at that glitter in the red, like the pinkish, orangey, yellow, it's beautiful. This one does have a subtle floral scent. Uh, I'm really bad with scents. I keep calling it flavors uh, normally. So if I revert from scent to flavor, uh, yeah. And look at what's gonna be super cool. Look at how well that fits right there. Boom, which was why I purchased those. And then we have Aries, the next one in the series, which corresponds with the Aries cover minder. those colors Ooh, I like that one that one has like a more of a masculine scent I would call it that's about as much as you get from me I would make a very bad like smeller I don't know what the professional smelly peoples the smelling peoples are called I'm not a good smelling person. And then I got lemon chiffon because I love anything lemony. So I got a lemon chiffon Mary Mud. Boop. And then I got Candyland Mary Mud. And to go along with the Candyland Mary Mud, I got the set of Candyland Mary Mud matching cover minder, which is this super adorable cover minder. <laughs> Again, adding to my cover minder haul because you can't have too many cover minders and the stress relief Mary mud which is a eucalyptus mint uh cover mind like did I call it a cover minder stress relief Mary mud which is a eucalyptus and mint Mary mud so this was the scent this one I'm uh, excited for because I love everything mint and I love eucalyptus as well so this one here and then we've got a cream soda Mary Mud, which I'm actually gonna open that one up because I'm excited for this cream soda because I love me a cream soda with the, the hints of vanilla and cream soda. So I am gonna smell this one for you guys. And I'm not a big pop person, but cream soda is one of my favorites. So nice, subtle. Ooh. She did a good job kind of nailing that subtle smell of a cream soda. Mylon, stop sniffing the box. Mylon's on the floor over on the other side of the room sniffing a cardboard box and sneezing. She, she'll sniff it and she's like kind of doing a pseudo sneeze as she sniffs it. So if you're wondering what that random noise is back there, it's my dog. And then the last one is Ice Cream Party Merry Mud, which corresponds with, ta-da! The last cover minder, which is an upside down ice cream cone. And that, that ends my, my cover minder haul. We're, we're done with the cover minders and you're not, you're not going to see any more cover minders for a while. Because like I said, I'm, I'm on like a cover minder no buy for quite, I don't need any more. I'm done. <laughs> Too many cover minders. And look at that. It's like the Neapolitan. Boop. And I like, it's a very subtle, subtle smell there. I like that. I almost called it flavor again. Very subtle. But that is my haul. And as you can see, the best part is look at how well those fit there. Uh, because most things will fit like these bags, which are just slightly wide, narrower than these bags. Whereas these ones are literally a perfect fit for the Mary Mud. And so I'm excited to be able to fit my Mary Muds, boom, right here in this tray. And to be able to organize them and have them all fit and be able to be like, oh, what do I want to use today? And just grab a scent or flavor of Mary Mud and go. And that way I can actually see what I have and use it. So this was today's haul. I have my uh, collection, my new, I'm calling it my Mary Mud holder. 
uh, but these wonderful trays uh, for holding whatever things that you want to put in them from Bella Arte Nicole my new pen holder with mink arts and crafts on it uh, which is my channel name in case you hadn't realized what channel you're watching my tray tower this beautiful pen in all these different shades which is like a work of art which is a work of art in and of itself from Lady Lathe Customs um, by Stacy Travis these three uh, little waxy putties I think they're waxes rather than putties um, from whimsical designs our whim whimsical daisies sorry whimsical daisies and this beautiful matte pen here by leopard leather works which is Carrie Costello and then my um, little bit of uh, overkill in cover minders so you can just kind of like ignore the, the the overkill right here just just ignore that overkill and just to look at all the pretty colors and all the fun I mean like some of these are just like I mean look at how absolutely adorable this is I mean it's just so cute and toe beans I mean team toe beans who cannot be on team toe beans I couldn't resist uh, though I do have to say this right here is my all-time favorite this little cat in the box that's my all-time favorite they just need like a little um grayish blue tabby with a little white face and like a little white tuxedo-ness and that would be mochi but it's a little cat in the box super super cute anyways so this was my small shop haul and this will probably be uh maybe a little bit before i get another small shop haul but i do have a few unboxings that i will be uh, working on for you guys until I have the next small shop haul. So until then, uh, I like I said before, go ahead and give me a like, go ahead and subscribe if you're not already subscribed, and I will see you guys on my next video. Have a wonderful on day, everybody.